In this video, I wanted to first and foremost remind you that the Complete Guide to Menopause course is on sale for Galentine's Valentine's Day weekend, which means from today, which is Thursday, February 13th at noon for 48 hours, which will take you all the way up to Saturday, uh, the 15th at noon. So this uh, course is so incredible. It is so much information. What I want you to do is there should be a link in this email that you can check. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to my website, which is heatherhirschmd.com slash course, and you can watch the uh, tutorial or sort of the informational video to see. You can also see all the little modules and lessons that you are going to learn in the course. It's absolutely awesome. It's normally $197. It took hours of work and is on sale for $147. Once you download it, it's yours forever and it's electronic, which means if I update it, you will automatically get an update without even knowing it. There's also tons of downloadables in there, it teaches you how to journal and track, so it's really, really fantastic. Also, there is a bunch of mini courses. So I took the complete guide to menopause and I divvied it up into five different mini courses. So if you only want to learn about sexual health or sleep, those are 47 and they're really, really great. Just mini courses, I'm calling them. Okay, I also wanted to give you an update from the menopause world. There was on something y'all ask me about all the time, which is about menopause and weight gain or a change in your body shape. So a recent study came out a few weeks ago slash this month, and this is February 2020, showing that women who took hormone replacement therapy for greater than 13 months maintained their muscle mass much more than women who didn't take hormone therapy. So that sounds amazing, but let me break the study down a little bit more. So to get to the details, this was a study of a Korean study, a Korean women. Um, there's about a little over 4,000 women in this study and it's a cross-sectional study. So what that means is it has some limitations. It means that there's a association, but we can't always hang our hat on that that was the exact reason or cause and effect, okay? But it is an interesting be notation because it means that we should potentially study this further. So they took 4,000, these 4,000 women and they studied them between 2008 and 2011. And again, what they saw was actually the women who started hormone therapy younger and who took it for a little bit longer and importantly, who had a lean body mass to begin with, and they they noted that as a BMI of 25, actually maintained their lean muscle mass longer um, when they used HRT, preserved it more than women who didn't. So this is really important because lean muscle mass also determines your metabolism. You know, it means how much energy you're expending just listening to me um, on this video. It means how much you burn when you exercise or just when you're doing the dishes, taking care of your children, things that you do on a normal daily basis. So maintaining your lean muscle mass is also, is very important. The exact mechanism of how estrogen does that, we still don't know. Perhaps it stimulates um, the receptors on uh, muscle cells. Um, perhaps it has something to do with the way we, um, uh, insulin is, um, how, how effective essentially insulin is in our body if we have insulin resistance, which means a progression to prediabetes and diabetes. Because interestingly, coming back to that point, in the study, they did find that the women who maintained their lean mus muscle mass had less hypertension and less diabetes. Overall, just were healthier. So there is actually a, now we see like the first link between the use of hormone therapy, maintaining lean muscle mass, and therefore keeping our weight under control and perhaps that link to hormone therapy and better metabolism sort of being more fleshed out. So again, there were limitations to this study. They did not look at what type of hormone therapy they were using. So they didn't look at if it was oral, if it was Premarin, which is conjugated estrogen. They didn't look at if it was a patch, a spray or gel. Um, and there was some recall. So women had to sort of remember how long they were taking their hormone replacement for. So not perfect. What we would need to do is take this information 
say, yes, this is valuable. There's something interesting here. We see this in this cross sectional study. And as a physician, I myself see this anecdotally or I see it clinically. So this is something we might want to study further. So that's really, really exciting. That just popped up in my published ahead of print um, news that I get from the North American Menopause Society. I love the North American Menopause Society. They are on top of so much stuff and they are the leading governing body of all things menopause in uh, the United States as well as elsewhere. So that is menopause.org if you want to surf around there. You can also find a menopause specialist in your area. So I'm signing off, but again, if you want to see me in the office, I work at Boston at Brigham and Women's, and um, you can go to my website, heatherhirschmd.com slash contact. You can find my number there. Um, there's lots of wonderful menopause specialists all over the country, as well as your country who might have a different leading menopause society. Um, so you could check out their information there. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day, either celebrating yourself our wonderful Valentine's Day celebrating somebody you love. And I hope to see you guys soon. If you get the complete guide to menopause queries, let me know how it is. Send me your feedback because I did this with y'all in mind. And if there's something that I can prove, if there's something that needs to be better, I need to know so that I can make this the most effective for you so that you can learn all of the fundamentals of menopause without having to scour the internet or scour, you know, Facebook support groups for the right information. Get it from a good, credible source. Okay, guys, happy Valentine's Day. Enjoy and stay warm. Bye.